for standing up for Yoruba nation. And in that uh, sense, we decided to pull our resources together. Okay. So we started a fundraiser. So in the last two months, we have raised nearly 36,000 pounds. Right. At the same time, during the period, there is uh, what we call the, the transaction charges where they have to verify if you're if you're actually the one uh, making the donation by yourself, you know, those confirmation where all of that. So in the process, we got uh, back at least 31,000 uh, pounds during this period. During this period, we have also expended quite some subst I mean, substantial amount of uh, fund on different support, uh, uh, what do you call it, project. Let's, let's use projects or anything that comes to my mind later. So using a number in Nigeria, Naira, our money, our total money could be put at uh, 23.5 million Naira. That's quite some substantial amount to be raised on this platform in two months. Thanks to every one of you who have, uh, you know, turned up. Now, from our money, in the last uh, two months, which includes the past few days, we have also expanded uh, quite some substantia, which uh, comes to, let me see that, where I put that earlier? Here. We have spent, from our 23 million, we have spent over 15 million. And I'll give you the breakdown. Last month in March, we took uh, over the welfare of Alano and the deputy Alano, which comes to a monthly bill of uh, 1.7 million. We have done twice now. If you put that together, that would be 3.4 million naira. Oloye Sunday, was welfare, which also came to 2 million naira at the time, was also paid by us. At the time before the release of Oloye Sunday, we have already mobilized a legal chamber that was going to take over his case before his release. And on that, I mean, with his authorization that many of you remember, we made a deposit of a 2 million naira with a legal chamber in Nigeria. We still have that two million era deposit with them as we speak. I'm going to say something on that tonight. So under the period, I mean, uh, uh, in the period under review, as the user for finance, Abby, we've also uh, took, uh, uh, what do you call it? We've also took uh, charge of uh, expending our money on uh, publicity which I've seen us uh, erected, or let me put it this way, uh, paid for eight billboards that will serve as our own uh, publicity around the Yoruba land, which we are picking in base, you know, like, uh, you know, base by base and all of that until we do more. So eight of that and uh, uh, every other logistics that comes to it is costing us uh, 1.4 million naira. And that will be for a month. The other part of our, uh, what do you call it, our uh, budget or what we have expended on is that report, which also includes our publicity as approved by this platform. Sorry, guys, if you are watching us on, on Facebook during this period that we took uh, most of uh, these decisions, especially the ones we took uh, from April, uh, Mayegu's diary political was uh, on uh, a month suspension on Facebook. So most of my friends who follow this through will continue to raise the fund. All of us who continue to raise the fund, we continued on YouTube. Okay. So uh, we have a report that we have paid for. This report is going to be uh, done in phases. Some of these are coming uh, out uh, this week, starting from tomorrow. We have uh, sent uh, reporters uh, to Igogon uh, to cover all the atrocities of the Fulani terrorists in Yoruba land. The reason for that, just like the billboard idea, if you remember, was to start, uh, number one, 
putting this uh, conversation of Yoruba nation into the subconscious minds of our people back home and saving the uh, saving us uh, the, the, the casualty that comes with mobilizing people on the streets. In this case, a billboard will, will, will serve that job, I mean, will serve that uh, publicity even further, and people approved it on this platform. Same thing came with, uh, how about uh, we have our own uh, real report of what is, what is going on back home? Because on this platform, we call ourselves here, when we started our fund, Diaspora for Justice. And that is what we want to use our resources to dig out. So in this case, our fund has now paid for uh, a report, a comprehensive report that includes, uh, you know, uh, interviews with the victims of the Fulani terrorism in uh, your state. So we've done this. They are now going through editing, subtitle, this and that. Uh, you know what I mean? All that should come with that from tomorrow we will begin to see this report. So it is, a, it is a project that is going to cost us, a, in the first phase, it is going to cost us a 1.5 million Naira. And this is going to cover more than just a, one state in this regard. However, we have our savings too. So if I have to use my own uh, currency here, the pound sterling, I would say, with what we have paid for in the last two months to support uh, this uh, concept of intervention on Mayegun's diary political, we have now expended uh, over 21,000 pounds from our money. Now, what does that mean? It simply means with the additional donation we have gotten and uh, with what we have expended, we can still say we have uh, at least we have a 10,230 pounds in our bank. Now, if you go to bed tonight, remember sometimes uh, early in April when we decided that uh, how much should we budget and spend in April and then look out for results to see if we are going to be doing more. So we pick up uh, the welfare of Alan last month. We pick up their welfare this month, and they will expect us to do the same next month. Hopefully, uh, we will be able to as well, right? Now, we have uh, over 10,000 pounds, which you can put at, uh, you know, uh, over 7 million naira. So what that means now is this. We have expended this month alone. We have uh, expended, uh, let me, please, let me, do my calculation here. Um, let's see that. So that means this month we have expended over 8 million Naira already. But remember we said we should put our budget, a silly budget uh, at uh, how much? 10 million Naira. So from what we have, now we can say, uh, you know, we are close to that mark. So what I am actually having in mind now is this. For every other project, ideas, or anything, publicity, support, or whatever we want to do, or even if we should still continue this donation or we should stop it, if you feel like we should just expand what we have and just close it, we will decide that tonight. So consider that when you are making your calls as well, okay? But from what we have, I, I am personally feeling like the last part of this uh, April budget should cover emergency fund for Oluye Sunday Igbo only, which means if Oluye needs any fund at this time, it will be the only thing that can now be paid out in April. Then in May, we'll consider what we have left. We'll consider what we can do further. And then we'll see if we are still going to have something bigger to do in May or not. This is the outcome. I don't know. I, I should have uh, told you to, to start writing down uh, if you would uh, indeed probably want to ask uh, questions or not, and all that. Anyway, you can still ask uh, any questions that you might want to. The last part of my report tonight is going to be on the uh, Yoruba Rescue Fund. Uh, the job is advanced. I haven't been able to, uh, you know, uh, have a a, a timely uh, date uh, with uh, the developer of our website and every other thing that is coming with it, right? But I am very confident that uh, with what we have so far, yeah, we should be launching that possibly this the first or latest the second week of May. So until then, yeah, 
the work is ongoing on that. Okay, so there's a lot to be done. The purpose of us, uh, meanwhile, I actually wanted to add the purpose of us, uh, uh, you know, going into Yoruba land, going into our communities. Uh, taking our cameras down, talking to the local, I mean, to the community, to our people like right there, let them tell their stories, have them on camera, and we'll bring them back here to all of us, right here on Mayegun's Diary Political, through this platform to the rest of the world, and then we'll tell our stories. So maybe when you, as a Yoruba man, a Yoruba woman from all over the world, maybe when you now have the first and story of the people that we have been talking about and the damages, the wreck and the, you know, the, the, the ruins of the Fulani terrorists in Yoruba land and the way the government is protecting them. Maybe when you hear this directly from our people, it will get you kind of more concerned and genuinely so, so that you will understand that we are not mad. We are not troublemakers. People are dying there. And their stories are not being told. Their stories are being buried, underreported, and they are being told to shut up. But everyone is just uh, like a, a victim waiting to happen. Because in Nigeria, the level of the destruction and the ruin has become something you can call turn by turn Nigeria Limited. Everyone is waiting for their turn. We all have families back in Nigeria. We won't want to continue to wait and watch them get killed while Nigeria denying this is happening. We have seen many of our family members that become refugees in another country. They are not even talking about them right there. We have seen our people who rose up to defend our land became targets that uh, the state government started hunting them down. They are being charged for terrorism. They are being charged for this and that. Meanwhile, there is also part of this funding I forgot to add. It is actually the chunkest part of it. So crucial. I don't know how I, I actually omitted that, okay? And that funding from our 15.1 million is the 4.8 million naira that we paid to the legal team of uh, Igbo 12. You remember the 12 people they arrested at Oloye Sunday Igbo's house? Yeah? The 12 of them, uh, uh, they released them, they kept two, and they charged the two for terrorism and this and that. Their legal team, they, you know, they said that uh, to close the case, they would need 5 million naira. This platform gave them 4.8 million naira. Just let that be on record too. I don't know how I forgot and I actually omitted that, by the way. So let me repeat that. We have our 2 million era for Igbo's welfare in uh, March and then uh, April. We have uh, 3.4 million era, which is uh, 1.7 million era in March, 1.7 million era in April to cover the welfare of Alano, Deputy Alano, and all their own health care and stay in Benin Republic as so far. Uh, we paid out uh, 4.8 million naira to the legal team of uh, Igbo 12 as they requested. That's, that was our own support for them. Uh, we, we, depo we deposited the 2 million naira to the legal uh, chamber that we hired to take over Oloye Sunday Igbo's uh, case in Bene Republic. It's been released, but the case is not really that over as we understand. So Igbo said we should leave that money with the lawyer. And it's been a while. And I haven't questioned that. So maybe I will raise that with Oloye. What should we do with this uh, lawyer? What, you know, what, what's it going to be? Well, so far, so good. We said we should leave it with them. We have uh, expended uh, 1.4 million era on uh, billboards, uh, which is meant to, uh, you know, to, to, to promote uh, what we said, the uh, advocacy of the Yoruba nation in the Yoruba, in Yoruba land. And we have done that, and we have, uh, you know, we have raised uh, eight of that so far. And it, at the same time, we have commissioned uh, a special report team to help us report the damages done into our farms, our lands, our communities, our villages, and everything that are so underreported to bring that to the world, including the members of this platform. So that too is going to cost us uh, 1.5 million euros. So when you put all this together, then you get the figure of why we spent and expended that much. We have used our money judiciously. We have touched base. We have touched everywhere we should concerning uh, this fund. But if you now feel like uh, we have done enough, we should close it. Again, I would advise we should start talking about that when the line is open. It's so important, please. I've said a lot of, of things tonight. Pick which one you want to contribute to. And when you do, Please make it uh, brief enough so that we can allow more people to also contribute. In this case, I am going to take a break. 
it is called tea break. When my tea runs cold, when, gets, when my tea gets cold, I kind of get scolded myself. So what I'm going to do now is that uh, I am going to put us on a short break. Uh, you are going to take a minute to like the video if you haven't. You're offering, right? Drop it. Uh, like the video, share it. Uh, and then, uh, you know, pick up the phone. It is WhatsApp call only. Remember that. So, and I will. I will be back in a moment. <laughs> So uh, thank you very much. Uh, like I said, the line is opened. So if uh, if you feel like uh, you have uh, something to add, as we do on my Goon's Diary political uh, every day, every now and then, if we have a line opened for uh, this segment, is that uh, you would call through the WhatsApp uh, call and uh, you will make it uh, brief as well. Not video call, just the normal calls, okay? So there is uh, one thing I actually got and picked up earlier. So let's take our first one. And that would be, hello there. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, I can hear you. Good evening, Mayagun General. Good evening to you, sir. How are you? I'm doing good. So yeah, you are, my you name are, is you are, you are live now with Mayegu. So your name, sir, if I may ask. My name is Sunday, calling from Germany. Please, Sunday, you are live. Go on. Okay. First, I want to commend you for your good job that you are doing. Thank you. you Open the eyes of a lot of people. Mm. So just quick one, just like you always say it. <laughs> Please. That very soon, uh, Nigeria is going to be history. Mm. That's my information. I just got to give you now. Very soon. Mm. Thank you very much, and have a good one. God bless you, brother. Thank you very much for uh, dropping by. I love that. Uh, you believe that uh, it's going to happen, and it is not going to be your fault. It's not going to be my fault that Nigeria is going to going to break. It is not your fault. It is not my fault that Nigeria is tearing apart. They have blamed you for long. They have made you feel like it is your fault that Nigeria is not working. No, it is time for you to stop blaming yourself. That Nigeria is not working is deliberate. That Nigeria is breaking apart is their doing. Don't blame yourself for it. And don't try to save it. Because only them can stop it if they begin to identify. Not I mean, well, they, they have actually identified. If they begin to... What do you call it? If they begin yeah. to accept the wrong hello. and end up, start with hello. hello. 
Hello, good good evening. How are you? Good evening, sir. How are you? I really appreciate your program so so much. Thank you. You are you are one of the people I admire, and each time I'm chance to listen to your program, I'm always emotionally moved that a Nigerian can do such a great thing. Bless you. I will always support the program. But the question I want us to ask ourselves now is that how are we going to continue to live in the midst of plenty and yet you are still suffering? When will end come to tragedy in Nigeria? When will things be okay for us? Each time I listen to all the news that are happening in Nigeria, I bleed. For the fact that I'm in UK, I have relatives in Nigeria. Absolutely. Are they living at the same kind of life we are living in this place? Mm. Those are the things that makes me bleed. And within my means, anything I can do to be supporting your program will get me 100%, Mr. Mayugo. Thank you so much. Bro. I really admire you Thank for you. your courage, for your personality, for your devoted, and for your sincerity. Thanks, man. Because it's not everybody that can be transparent the way you're doing. Look at the figure you are giving us, how you are spending the money day to day. We don't need any auditor again. You are a special man, Mr. Mayegun, and I will continue supporting your show every day. Thanks, man. Thank you very much. I love that. I mean, I always kind of get encouraged by all of you, and it's because they are coming from the place of so sincerity from yours too, and I love it. Thank you. You are welcome, Mr. Mayebus, man. So that's, uh, uh, oh, he didn't give me his name, or oh, probably I missed that. I have another person on the line. See, Toju, uh, see, Toju, my brother. Hmm, I don't see your hand. Thank you. Hello there. Yeah, Mayebus, how are you? I'm very well. How are you? Good. I'm glad I got you today. I've been trying to, but uh, I'm glad I've not been able. Say that again. I've been trying to get through all this while, but each time I can. But today, thank God I'm able to get you. I'm happy you did. And it's good to have you here. Your name? Yeah, my name is Stanley. I'm calling from Houston, Texas. Oh, Stanley, you said, right? Yeah. Great. I have another friend from Houston, Texas now. How you doing, Stalin? I mean, Stanley, you're alive. Yeah, good. I'm okay. I Solid. hope you're doing good. Solid. So go for it. Hard yours too. Yeah, please. Um, I appreciate your program. I want to begin by appreciating you. You are doing a great job. Thanks. You are doing really, really a great job. Um, I appreciate your program for different reasons. Your comportment, your analysis, and your personnel. I just want to thank you for all that coming to the topic of the day you know it's very interesting that uh, from day to day we we hear some of these things for some of us we are not surprised when we hear this kind of people talk because these are the the intellectual intellectuals quote unquote we have in nigeria they are the intellectuals mm. the professors and the elite so, and when when you hear people call these people intellectual, mm. and they say we are insulting them, no. because when you hear some things they say, the word intellectualism is, is reduced to almost nothing. Trust because me. you cannot tell me that somebody who is regarded as an elite is making this kind of preposition, this kind of suggestion, and you call this kind of person elite, an intellectual. So the truth is that all these people, no matter the umbrella, no matter the portfolio, no matter the title, the whatever they stand to present themselves to be, they are all the same. They are all beneficiaries of the same system. Same system. They are all beneficiaries of this contraption. 
And that is the reason why they are doing everything to sustain it. They are doing everything they can to sustain the contraption because they are beneficiaries of the contraption. That's right. For example, the man in question, I believe he owned one of the universities, popularly known university, I think Babalola or something like that. University, one of those uh, private universities yes. too, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is an intellectual. Yes. And the public universities are not working. The public universities are not working. These are the people that are taking glory for the public universities not working. Because the more the public ones are dying, the more their own is flourished. That is right. So when they speak like this, we don't need anybody to tell us what they stand for. So my conclusion this night is to encourage us. Encourage every true person that wants the betterment of everybody living in Nigeria mm. to not to pay attention to this kind of character. Mm. I listened to you the day you talk about uh, the the man, the pastor barista. Mm, uh, what was his name again? Mm. The Bakari of the guy. I love the term you gave him. You call him a charlatan, and that's what he is. These are the people that are hiding under the pupils to to deceive those they want to deceive. Because you hear him talk, he says he's a leak, he's a barrister and all that. Those things are not things he used to intimidate us. The truth is that mm. with your words, we judge you. That's right. He cannot come and tell me, talk some nonsense. We hear him when he said, God told him. I think they are charlatan. Like you call him, that's what it is. You told us God told you you would be the best president after Buhari. All of a sudden, you turn around and you are telling us now that uh, some other person will take the throne. Which God are you trying to project? So, when you well, look at all course. this, hmm. so these people, unfortunately, they are the people that take advantage of the situation because the more people are impoverished in Nigeria. The more their enterprises, I don't like to flourishes. call them church, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. more their business enterprises are flourishing. That's right. So, so I want to encourage every one of us not to pay attention to them. Mm. Anybody that is thinking for any reason that most of these so called elites in Nigeria will, for any reason, support the disintegration of Nigeria, support the betterment of Nigeria, must be joking. They, they don't want the country to work. Because the country working will affect so many. Babalola, for example, if the public university starts functioning, people will not have reason to send their children to private universities. No, because you so said mm. Yeah, so these people, they don't want this. So I'm just, my own point is to encourage everyone of us to stay focused. Not to really take to stay focused. Serious. Mm. God bless you. Forget about them. It will only, it's a matter of time. I know that Nigeria will disintegrate. It's a matter of it time. It can only take time. Whether I like it or they don't like it. God bless you, Stan. If you follow the trajectory of Nigeria, you know that Nigeria is going towards the solution, either by peace or by crisis, however they want it. But we don't want crisis. I know. We want it's them the to. Nigeria is living on a borrowed time. Mm. I'm just telling you, because anybody that wants to say the truth, they thought if they arrest, if they kidnap Martin Man, they can, they will kill the Biafra situation. They thought if they plant their hole in the midst of IPOB and try to cause the chaos they are causing now, they think the agitation will see with that. They're making a very big mistake. The greatest mistake they made is to kidnap Martin Man, they can, because now, they, they are holding him. They give those that we are silent the opportunity to begin to do whatever they want. Martin Mandekalo was controlling so many guys. Yes. Today, nobody can control them. So the agitation has gone beyond any individual. And the early they understand it, the better, the for, better for every one of us. So let me allow others to contribute. Thank you, Thank you so for your much, good Stanley. <laughs> and I appreciate what you are doing for Yoruba Nation. I honestly, 
I'm not a Yoruba man, but I have cousin who is a Yoruba man. <laughs> I have a lot to benefit Bless if you. Yoruba nation is realized. Thank so you. I'm very grateful for what you are doing for Yoruba people. Thanks. And I want to let my support. God bless you. Both financially and morally. And whatever that we make Yoruba people to come to full understanding of the importance of this freedom. Okay. I am in for it. Thank you so much. God, God, bless, God bless you, me. Stanley. That's a very deep, long one. I appreciate your time with us for that, okay? You have a good one today. Thank you. So I have uh, another caller, uh, which is uh, connected, I believe. Hello there. Oh, hello, Dudua. All in Odudua. All in Bihafra. My brother, sir. Yeah. Hey, am I good? How are you today? I am trying to survive. I am very fine, by the way. Do you mind I steal a minute uh, or two minutes of your time sure, together? Sure, Let's sure. watch something together quickly. Yeah, sure. I think sure. I found what I'm looking for. Hopefully, it is, and that is where Hope Uzo Dijo said IPOB is not responsible for any of the crises in uh, Imo State to start with. So, give me a sec, a quick one, please. Not one PDP man has had an attack or bombs. So, it is very clear to me that these people are after APC. I'm sorry for those who will come in a very naked daylight. I want to be after government. Only a weak government can allow that. It is my hope that the people who are up doing this will use the period of Easter and repent. If they don't repent, government will come all out. I have decided to say this because the people behind this are also carrying the blackmail. They are the one that will kill. They are the one that will come out to blame government. They think we don't know what they are doing. I think their cop is now full. And uh, killing of the APC ward chairman was killed in his house. The APC secretary was killed in his house. The APC woman leader was killed in his house. I have crossed since the inception of this banditry. Not one PDP man has died. Not one PDP man has, his house has been attacked or burnt. So it is very clear to me that these people are after APC. I am sorry for those who will come in a... If anybody tells you that IPOB is the one killing people in Oluzo, it is not correct. Wicked police. If anybody tells you that IPOB is the one killing people in Oluzo, it is not correct. If anybody tells you that IPOB is the one killing people in Oluzo, it is not correct. If anybody tells you that IPOB is the one killing people in Oluzo, it is not correct. Wicked politicians are sponsoring the killings in Olu. Last week in Oberu, the APC ward chairman was killed in his Aoga, you still there? Yes, I'm here. Did you hear that? Yes, loud and clear. One I mean, man fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my, my brother, um, Hopus Adema is he's not even legitimate. You know, he was just he's just a puppet that was put in there. Mm. So you, they're all it, it's, to me watching it. Our last saw was a clown show. It's just a clown show. A circus, and, and they can. I mean, I want at this point they look they look so bad right now because mm. uh, the joke is on them because people have woken up. No one pays attention to them anymore. Mm. 
They no longer have legitimacy. It's just for the time being. They could say all oh, this. This man speaks with four tongues. It's not IPOB. Next week, oh, it's IPOB. This is a, you know, it, it's somebody. They're, they're just, these people, they're, oh my goodness. That's why I said that. They're they should not go up. punished. They are committing crimes against humanity. Whatever name they want to they give to pay. it, they can give to it. But these guys are committing crimes, right? And they should never, even after they leave those offices, so they should never go unpunished. That's what people should know. My good, they're going to pay. Every one of them are going to pay. Everyone, we're all taking records. YouTube doesn't lie. All these records are being kept and no one forgets. Remember, if they don't pay, to, uh, you know, the United, um, the ICC, they'll pay one way or the other. Mm. Let them step foot in America. We will deal with them. Mm. Let them step foot in Europe. You, you guys will deal with them. These people can no longer hide anymore. No. So their cup, when he said their cup is full, his cup is full. All of their cups are full. That's right. Because we're now rising up. With your, with your help mm. and desanitization of the minds of the people that they have entrenched into this, Ibedibedism, mm. you know? So, Mayagu, keep doing what you're doing. I will. Please, keep firing on all cylinders. I will. While Simon and the rest of the guys are doing it, Great. let's keep pushing because what you're doing is showing, is, is bearing fruit. Mm. People are digesting this thing and it's growing in their mind. All right? Please okay. never be discouraged. No. Because we are going to win this fight. All hell Biafra, all hell Udua. All hell Biafra, all hell Udua. My brother, you stay safe and have a good one, yeah? I have uh, I have another <laughs> caller on the line. Hello there. Hello, my good. I'm calling you from Malaysia. Sorry, your name again. I'm calling you from Malaysia, my Class. So, Emeka, you're yeah. alive. Everybody can hear you. Yeah, Mayegu, um, thank you so much, my brother. You are a good man. Thanks, man. Mayegu, I, I don't know how to thank you. I've been watching you, and I'm just, I'm just like, um, I'm just shedding tears, you know. Bless For you. the things that you're doing, my brother, God, God will bless you, Mayegu. Amen. God will Amen. surely bless you, bless your family. Amen. Anything that comes from you is blessed, my brother. Amen. Honestly Amen. speaking, what you're doing... Uh, is is very very rare to find, you know. I was listening to you. The money that you're calling out, the things that you know you are you are doing is amazing. Believe me, my God in heaven and your ancestors have chosen you to do this work. I can remember there was a time, you know, that you were saying that people are telling you to, you know, my ego pick up this thing, and you say you were like dodgy. But today, brother, your 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 hands are never. Don't 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 do this, bro. Don't do this, please. Don't do this. My ego, your hands are never. We call it intervention. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Okay. My ego, my ego, listen to me, brother. You're out already. Honestly, you are doing. You are you are going deep, my ego. And and there is something I want to stress. You see that uh, that issue of um uh uh making videos inside the villages and all those places that Fulani have, you know done their evil. Yes. My that that will that will, you know, like open the eyes of many people. You know there are so there, there are so many of our people, both 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 Yorubas and Debos, who still don't believe yes. all these things that you are saying. Some of people course. will say it's a propaganda. Some people will say you want to use it to increase your platform and other. Mm -hmm. But by the time they will see maybe somebody in, in UK or in US who see his own uncle, yeah. understand, crying, shedding tears and saying, this is true, this, you know, that person will start to, you know, like, we, so yeah. this thing that my is saying is true, understand? Mm -hmm. So he, he no longer my ego telling you now, you are seeing your uncle, you are seeing that your auntie, you that are, is you are, at you the are, back you of your old compound. community, you see your old village, the place you grew up, Good. level down. Yeah. Like, so they destroy this so place like no, this, say yes, so. Thank you. So it's no longer my ego in the UK telling you, you your uncle, your yes. auntie, will be the one reporting to you what is happening. So by the time that you are enjoying your your your, your hamburger in the US or your Coca-Cola, you will know that your people are dying though. Yes. So my good thank you so much. God Great. bless you, my brother.
Amen. God bless you. God bless Thank you so much. That's all I have to say. Thank no, you. No, you are a lovely person. Thank you. I mean, I appreciate you and I appreciate your contribution. Okay, Mika, stay safe, eh? Thank you. Nice one. Thank you, brother. Nice one, yeah. It's quite an idea, a very lovely idea. From tomorrow, you will begin to see the clips of what we paid yeah. from tomorrow. Hello, sir. Uh, hello, my ego. Yes, sir. I cannot believe this today that oh, I have the opportunity to live it you with, you. with me right here. Oh my God. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Bless you. I'm so glad. My ego, no, you are. No, you are. No, you are. 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 You Nobody will tell you otherwise. You are doing great. Thank you. And we are all proud of you. Thank you. You shall never fall. Amen to that. You shall never fall. My ego, we believe so much in you. Thank you. We love you. Thank you. In fact, you deserve um, a national award. I'm telling you, when we are on the right platform, thank you. On the right side of uh, that country called Nigeria, it might not be called Nigeria anymore. It might be called Yoruba Nation, because that is what Nigeria is going to change to. Because let me tell you, tell Nigeria has gone beyond redemption right now. Hmm. If you look at what happened recently at the Ashiwa Jews uh, campaign uh, ground. I am not convinced with a single word from this useless man called Chief Nobu. He was only talking about he paid some people's work fee in those days. In 2022, you. And, uh, you uh, yes, and you said to the youth to support you to drive you there. Let me remind you something. This man left Yoruba land. He went to, um, to the north you know, to, to speak with all this Emir. When he got there, he, he was um, looking for, seeking for their support. Yeah. It was kneeling down and they prayed for him. When he went to Yoruba land king, he, he was disrespecting them all over. Even he never removed his heart from his you're, head. You're right. This, now, and when he, he was in Yoruba land, that was when they said he had to yes, he can't kneel down, he can't be straight. Right. Exactly, but he but he was able to do that when he got to the north. The Why are we in Yoruba land? We are not getting the right message. That this man is always telling us that he will continue to disrespect us, and there's nothing we can do about it. We need to think fast before it's too late. When this man is making any statement about his intention, he wants to make Nigeria a banditry free country. Are you not part of this problem on ground from 2015? Do you even know what question came to my mind when he said that, right? And I'm like, so he agree yes, that Nigeria is now a banditry country. But he's never come Imagine. Oh, Nigeria is a so if Nigeria is not a banditry country, why do you want to make Nigeria a banditry-less country or something like a country without banditry? That's the hypocrisy. Ban banditry. Right. Hmm. Another thing is that this man... He's only telling us all this uh, old street of this politician. And if you look at it, that is very well. If you listen to him very well, mentally, this man is not stable anymore. Let me tell you why I said that. We call something permanent uh, voter's card, and you are telling them they have to go and validate their permanent mm -hmm. voter's card. We call it permanent. What is permanent is permanent. It can never be expired. No. When you lose it, you can Replace. call for replacement. That is the exactly. only if thing. You, if you move out, so or you want to change your address, okay, we'll change it for you. When was, exactly? When was the last time we used word Nepa? Ashwaju was talking about Nepa when we are using power holding. So you are telling me that this man is going to be driving us back just like the Buhari beach. Do you want to make a hard another one before you continue, sir? Have you started tweeting sir. on WhatsApp? No, I, I don't want to tweet, tweet from WhatsApp. WhatsApp. No. I don't want... My ego, please, don't, don't start. Don't just... Tweet. Please, don't tweet from WhatsApp. Please. I will never... I, don't, I, don't, you know. <laughs> I was coming I was coming to that. So I just wanted to use that oh, yeah, one yeah, as yeah, my... Yeah, plus, I mean, final. Go on now. Go for it. Mm -hmm. 
You see, let me now tell you, and he was standing there, and people are laughing. Look at this useless uh, guy. I'm not talking about Pasuma. I'm talking about Arole, Woli Arole. And you knew everything that happened at Lekito Gate. You are one of these people who are condemning the incident, and you even condemn Ashwadu Tinubu, and you had God to go to that ground to campaign for Ashwadu Tinubu. Guess what? They didn't even have any word to say. He was just saying, when I say Ashwadu, you say, you say Ogo. When I say Ashwadu, you say Ogo. Is that a campaign? Let me tell you another thing. When Peter Obi, because I listened to his um, interview with maybe Arise, right. you know, the way this man was talking, honestly, I give it to him. Maybe he doesn't have 